welcome back to Cave Story, everyone. With my local class, I am going to go and use the jellyfish juice. I'm actually gonna come up here and I'm gonna save. I'm gonna refill my health. Now we're gonna use the jellyfish juice on the fire in the audience house. Pretty sure it's the last fire besides the one I have to use it on. I do, in fact. Something buried within the ashes. Obtain the bubble eye. That is a weapon. It is a lame, lame, lame weapon at level one, especially. It's a bubble. It shoots. It shoots a little bubble. Look at that. What a pathetic that is. It is worse than the polar star at level one. Oh no, no. Okay. Two bushlands, indeed. Okay, so. Not going to level it by using it specifically. Like, that is a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Oh, my polar star got lower on experience. But okay. Must have gotten hit somewhere. Okay. It's max. Let's go ahead. No, I want the experience for the bubble thing. Oh my god. Oh my god, run! 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 If they hit me, it's like pretty much all over. I would be upset. Oh god. Okay. Bubbler levels. Okay. Now that it's level 2, I can hold the button down and do this. And it's decent. It's not great. But it's decent. Oh god, I woke it up. Cool. I don't even have to climb up there this time. I need this. Uh, bubbles. At level 3, it's actually a really good weapon. At level 2, it's... I still think the polar star is better. But... I'll use this for a little bit. Alright, now it's level 3. At level 3, it starts doing this. If you release the button... Fires all of them off in a big wave. Or you can just run around with it. And hope that it hits something. For the most part though, I still just basically stick to the uh, Polar Star. To be honest. It's it's just a trusty weapon. You know you ain't gonna go wrong with it. Um, however, the Polar Star really isn't that great. It's just... I like direct weapons in games like this, so, like, I've seen a lot of people who do quite a bit of work with the fireball, and it probably is quite a bit better, especially than the Polar Star, but, whatever's, we don't go over there yet. It's a robot ro factory room place. Ah. I don't even know what these things sticking out of the floor are, but... There's a crack right here. Let's look through it. There's someone in that crevice. Hey you! Boy! I need to get out of here. Would you, um, please help me? Yeah. Thanks. Please take this. Obtain the rusty key. I was left in this room. Go ahead and use it, if you can. Two guesses as to who that is. There's no keyhole. It seems to be rusty. No keyhole, huh? That is a skull. That's for Odin. Ow. Okay, you gotta be careful here. When you shoot these things right here, it will break that, but then those guys will fall. If you get crushed, it's instant death. Do not want that. I actually did this backwards. I don't think I can still do this. Oh, maybe I can. Hey ah yeah. All right, five more life, and I immediately get hit. Later on, there start to be a lot of things that deal a lot of experience damage because as you take 
as you take damage. Oh, I can't go this way yet. I forgot about that. Fans have been stopped. Someone turned off the power. You want to turn them back on? Look for the power supply room. This is the room that, lo and behold, the rusty key allows us to go into. Not gonna get lost in this game like I did in Deus Ex over and over again. Actually, I can't. I'm not gonna guarantee that right now. It has been a while since I played this game. As we get farther in, things will become more and more foggy to me. All right, let's come over here. Fan power supply offline. Malco power supply offline. Let's turn the power on. Power's on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Intruder sighted. Terminate immediately. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, did you know that the Migma I found wasn't soup? Actually, I did. Yep. She wasn't soup. Because of that, the doctor was extremely upset. Misery received quite the beatdown. Pity, since she's just a girl. Well, the master can't be disobeyed, so that's our fate. This time, I'm here to break you for real. Better prepare yourself. Alright. He flies this time. And he does not like missiles. Or fireball. He actually likes the fireball a lot less than he likes missiles. A lot less than he likes missiles. And he's really easy again. What are you? He's out of here. Defeat the Balrog. Again. Woo. What are you? Oh yeah? Silly achievements. The head's been crushed in. Its body is jammed into the floor. Do you want to pull its body out? Yeah, I do. Er, th thank you. You are a good person, and on top of that, so strong. Thank you for saving me. I would like to do something for you to express my gratitude. But with that said, I am only capable of making bombs. You want to open the rusty door? What? Someone is trapped inside? You definitely are a good person. I understand. Let us make a bomb then. We will demolish that door. Please locate the following materials for the bomb. Charcoal, jellyfish juice, and gum base. Let us make the bomb once all the materials have been amassed. Alright, so... Now that the fans are activated, I can... F I can, like, float with them! And it's awesome! Which, that allows me to go back, get a jellyfish juice, and come back over without having to use it. My life and missiles are refilled. And I'm going to save. Alright, but first we're gonna go this way. Get here. Get here. Whee! Bushlands hut. Uh-oh. Red flower petals litter the floor. Open the treasure chest. Max missiles increased by five. Woo! Oh my god! Oh no, level down. Whew. Question mark. <laughs> I actually did kind of forget about him attacking you there. I remember how to get up that. Pretty sure I can right now, so. Just have to pull it off. Ow. Oh, right. Uh. No, stop it. I don't like damage. Polar Star's not a piece of crap anymore. Open the drink chest. Max missiles increased by five. Yes. Yes, I got two missile upgrades literally like a foot from each other. I know. That's ridiculous. I agree. Okay, I'm 
actually really low on health. I'm gonna have to be relatively careful here. So, let me tell you something. If you hold down the jump button while being propelled by a fan, you'll go even higher. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for telling me about the controls. Alright, this is a slightly tricky one. Ah. There we go. I'm actually not gonna go for the missiles, I just wanted the health. Ah. Oh no. Ah. Well, this might take me a moment here. Ah. There we go. And jump! Got it! Okay. So, when we come back, we'll go in here. And it'll be awesome. So what happens, it happens. I'll see you then.